Okay, so baseline counter to a single. Uh, you can attack that ankle and just go behind. I really like to lock uh, around his knee and his, and his belly, and I'll show you that in a second. So he gets in. We do all our defense here. Head down, we smash. Okay, instead of attacking this ankle, what I'm gonna do, and the technique of this is pretty interesting. So I'm definitely gonna go into him now. So I got my leg back, uh, my hips are shifted over. Now I'm gonna attack this near leg. One thing I wanna say really quick um, that I didn't say in a previous video is, I like to shift my hips over his head so he can't lift me. If I stay in the center and I start attacking, he's able to lift me. So literally, I shift my hip this much over here so he can't lift me. Now his head, is under my thigh, and it's hard for him to get up. So that little shift is pretty important. So let's spin here, Matthew, next. So, we're looking here. So I've beaten him, I've blocked, he's extended, his head's down. I'm now gonna attack. So my elbow, I have to move into my opponent. I'm gonna take a big bite. My knee's gonna go towards his knee, and my elbow's gonna go deep here. Now, I'm gonna lock. This hand, this goes to here, lock. Now I have a lot of power here, but you have to be at the knee. This doesn't do me any good. I want to control this knee. So I lock from here. I'm going to pull this lock to my chest and I use lat power. So I'm going to use my lat to get this knee off the mat. Now I drive him to this hip here. Okay, from here, a lot of different things. I look cradle right away. So I keep this elbow to my side, the hand that was locked, I take it out and then I slide to his neck. Right here, now you have a cradle. Just roll, catch your back points. So again, here, uh, this leg can actually be up, it can be down too. The only thing that doesn't work is if his butt is on his heels, then we do different things. So I can't get my arm in there. So generally the other guy's pretty open here. So again, I gotta move into him. This knee is gonna come to his knee. My elbow is gonna try to go to the inside of his knee, and then I'm gonna lock. So it's here, here, here. Now I drive, look how his head is stuck. I drive here, I actually turn my hip down and turn my knee in, his head is trapped, I slide back, slide right to cradle. Here, I just fall. To finish this here, spin for me a little bit. See, uh, yeah. I'm gonna finish over here, so I'm here. Here, one thing I just wanna show how to get back on top uh, just basic cradle stuff is I lock this cradle. I generally run over this shoulder and fall to my hips to get the back points. So I run here. Okay, I'm getting back points. One, two, three, four, five. And then I want to transition on top of him to pin. So I'm going to actually go to my head here, head, shoulder, and then I'm going to kick over and let his head pop out here. So now I'm in a tripod and looking for the fall. This is pretty sweet because you can actually see, you can actually see his shoulder go down and you get to watch your handiwork as you pin somebody. Um, so that's, a, that's locking in the crotch, countering a single, uh, and then getting over to his hip and then turning it into a cradle. Let me show you that one more time, full speed.